Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the simply supported beam with two-pointed load of 3 kN and 3 kN. So it is a symmetrical beam with the with a simply supported beam with symmetrical loading acting on the beam. So we are going to find out the support reactions and then first we have to find out the support reactions and then and then we have to draw the shear force diagram and at the last we will also draw the bending moment diagram for this beam. So start with the first of all with the support reaction is it is a simply supported beam with a symmetrical loading. So the support reactions are very really easy for such type of beam when there is a symmetrical loading acting on the beam. By symmetrical loading I mean that the distance from the load up to the load point is 2 meter here is same and also on the right side the distance from the support direction to the load is also 2 meter which is same to the left side so in this case there are two symmetrical loads acting on the beam so in this case half load this load will be transferred into this support and this support load will be transferred to this support so we can easily determine that the support reaction here RA will be equal to 3 kN and RB will be equal to the 3 kN normally you have to use the equilibrium equations to find out the support reactions or summation of vertical forces but in this case it's very easy because the load is acting at the same distance from the each uh, support reactions so this distance is 2 meter is same is this distance 2 meter is also the same so that's why we can easily find the support reactions that half of the load will be acting is uh, supported by RA and half of the load will be supported by RB now to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram first we have to draw the reference lines for the shear force These are the reference lines where the loads and support reactions are acting. So if I draw the line for the bending moment diagram, sorry for the shear force diagram, this is for shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton. So this is the A point and this is the B point. So we start from left in from our A point here. So we know that our RA is acting in upward direction. To take the load and it is the 3 kN so we will bring from here from 0 0 there's a reference lines of 0 0 so we will bring this 3 kN upward so this 3 kN is the shear force acting at point A and then there is no load in the beam here you see here this portion has no load so that's why it will be a straight line and then there is a load acting of 3 kN acting downward so we will bring this again 3 by downward so 3 was acting in upward direction and this 3 is acting in downward direction so it will be minus 3 so 3 and minus 3 we will get 0 so it means at this point we will have a 0 shear force so we will bring this down so now this is the shear force for left part of the beam again this portion has no load acting that's why it is a straight line here 0 shear force again then we have a shear force acting of 3 kN downwards so we will bring this down of 3 kN and then there is again no load acting on the beam here so it will be again a straight line and then 3 kN acting upward so it will be again positive so here was minus 3 and this was plus 3 here this is plus 3 so we will get a zero shear force it means at this point we have again a zero so exactly so now this is the shear force diagram for this beam now to draw the bending moment diagram so i have to draw the reference line again for the bending moment and the bending moment diagram is the unit of kilonewton meter because it is a moment so to find out the bending moment diagram it's very easy we have just to find out the area the area of this rectangle this is a rectangle so the area of this rectangle is 
rectangle is always b width into height so width is 3 meter sorry 2 meter this is the width 2 meter and this is the height 3 kilonewton so 2 into 3 we got 6 kilonewton meter is the area of this the area of this is basically the shear the bending moment diagram so again here we start with the zero and then it will go up like in this way and we have plus six kilonewton meter is the moment here at this point again we see here there is no shear force acting on this point at this point of the beam so of course the the value of the morning moment will also be equal to zero so it will be like this this is six kilonewton again on this side on the on the right side we see here this is also rectangle but with a negative sign with a negative shear force minus three so we'll also find the area of this which will be base into height base is again two meter and height is three so we'll get minus six kilonewton meter is the bending moment here at this point because here are the rotor and hinge support they cannot take any movements so that's why the moment diagram would look like this so it is minus six kilonewton meter is the bending moment for this portion so again one thing more that this will be a one degree line it will also be a one degree line because this was a zero degree line and bending moment is always a one degree line higher than the shear force diagram so hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram you just have to look into the support reactions and draw the shear force diagram and then by finding out the area of the shear force you find out the bending moment diagram hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video